So here are the stats after using block strap and void strap with the best settings after the patch. In today's video, we'll break down which launcher actually wins after the patch for FPS boost plus low ping, and I'll show you the exact settings I used so you can copy them in minutes. Smash like, drop a sub, and let's jump straight into the results. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. In this first step, we're going to clear out all the temporary and cached files that build up on your PC over time. These leftover files make your computer slower and cause Roblox to lag more than it should. To begin, go to your desktop and press Windows plus R on your keyboard. This will open a little window called Run. In that box, type percent, temp percent, and press enter. You'll see a folder filled with lots of random files and folders. These are all old temporary files left behind by your apps and games. Click anywhere inside the folder, press Ctrl plus A to select everything, and then hit delete on your keyboard. If you get a few pop-ups saying some files are in use, don't worry, that's normal. Just click skip for those. Next, press Windows plus R again, but this time type temp without the percent signs and press enter. Once it opens, press Ctrl plus A again to select everything and hit delete. If Windows asks for permission, click continue. Now one last cleanup. Open the run box one more time, type prefetch, and press enter. You might see a warning. Just click continue. When the folder opens, press Ctrl plus A to select everything, and again press delete. Step two, make Roblox use your CPU better with Run with Affinity tool. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now that your PC is cleaned up, we'll make Roblox use your CPU more effectively. For this, we'll use a super useful app called Run with Affinity. It forces Roblox to use all CPU threads every time it launches, perfect for squeezing out maximum performance. Open the Run with Affinity tool. Inside it, click on the three dots next to the file path box. This lets you browse for the main Roblox launcher file. You can find it by going to App Data, Local, Roblox, then select Roblox Player Launcher.exe. Next, move to the Set Affinity section. In the dropdown, select the highest number available. This number shows how many CPU threads your PC has. Choosing the biggest value means Roblox will now use your full CPU power every time you play. In the shortcut name box, type something like High Performance Roblox so it's easy to recognize. Under the Run dropdown, select Maximized, so Roblox always launches in full screen. Now click Create Shortcut, and a new Roblox shortcut will appear on your desktop. This version is fully optimized for speed. From now on, always launch Roblox with this shortcut instead of the default one. If you want to test instantly, click Run Program inside the tool to see it in action. Using this method ensures Roblox uses every bit of your CPU efficiently, leading to higher FPS, fewer lag spikes, and smoother gameplay, even if you're on a budget or older system. Step 3. Best Block Strap Settings After the new update to boost FPS in Roblox, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Many players think Roblox optimization is impossible after fast flags got removed in the new update, but that's not true. Blockstrap still has powerful settings that help you get smoother performance, faster loading times, and lower ping. Start by downloading and installing Blockstrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once it's installed, open it and click on Configure Settings. You'll see different tabs for settings. Let's go through them one by one. Integrations tab. Turn on these settings. Enable Activity Tracking in Discord. This just shows what you're playing, doesn't affect FPS. Query Version Location. Turn this off. It stops background version checks that can slow things slightly. Don't exit to desktop app. Keep this on so Roblox starts faster without loading the launcher delay. You can also turn off show in game activity if you don't need it, which saves a little CPU power. Then click save at the bottom. Bootstrapper tab. This section controls how Roblox starts. Turn on prompt on conflicts when launching another Roblox instance. This prevents crashes if Roblox opens twice. Keep Force Roblox Reinstallation off unless you're updating Roblox manually. After this, click Save again. Mods tab. This tab helps with FPS and visuals. Set Mouse Cursor to Default. Keeps it smooth. Turn on. Use Old Avatar Editor Background. Reduces GPU usage in menus. You can turn off. Emulate Old Character Sounds. Optional but can help CPU slightly. Under Preferred Energy Type, choose Default for Balanced Performance. You can also click Open Mods folder and remove unused mods to save system memory. Click Save before leaving. Engine Settings tab. This part affects graphics and FPS directly. Turn on. 
Allow block strap to manage fast flags. Improves game stability. Then change these. Anti-aliasing quality, MSAA. Low, gives more FPS. Preserve rendering or quality with scaling. Off, helps prevent lag. Rendering mode, automatic. Block strap will choose what's best for your GPU. Texture, quality, automatic or low, best for low-end PCs. These changes reduce lag, boost FPS, and make gameplay smoother. Click save again. That's it. You've now set the best block strap settings for maximum FPS and low ping after the new Roblox update. Now, let's compare this with Void Strap to see which one performs better. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Boost Roblox FPS using Voidstrap and Fast Flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. After the new update, Roblox removed many optimization tools, but Voidstrap still works perfectly for FPS boosting. Let's test and set it up properly. First, download and install Voidstrap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack. Once installed, search for Voidstrap in your Windows bar and open it. Go to the Settings tab. You'll find options like Player Message Logs, but those don't affect FPS much. The real power is in the next few sections. In the Deployment tab, enable Multi-Instance Launching. This lets you run more than one Roblox game smoothly. Also, check out Cross-Game Teleportation. It allows fast switching between games. Both of these make Voidstrap more flexible than Blockstrap. Then open the Modifications tab. It's similar to Blockstrap, where you can manage your mods folder and turn on older sound or visual settings. Next, go to the Fast Flag Editor. This is Voidstrap's most powerful feature. It shows green check marks for preset flags and red X's for custom ones. You'll also see buttons like Copy All Flags, Find Flag, and Import JSON. Click Import JSON, paste your fast flag codes, and hit Save. These tell Roblox to use your hardware efficiently, unlock higher frame limits, and reduce lag. Finally, open the Fast Flag Settings tab. It has pre-made optimization profiles. You can enable them instantly without typing anything. These presets automatically reduce ping, boost FPS, and improve smoothness. Voidstrap also includes appearance and shortcuts tabs like Blockstrap, plus a new AI chat feature that helps explain flags. Still in beta, but very cool. After saving all changes, close the launcher and start Roblox with Voidstrap. You'll notice Roblox runs smoother and your FPS stays higher even in big games. Right now, Voidstrap is the best and most stable launcher for FPS boosting after the latest Roblox patch. Step 5. Use Throttle Stop to improve CPU speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. While gaming Windows sometimes slows down your CPU to save energy or prevent overheating, but that kills your gaming performance. To fix that, we'll use a tool called Throttle Stop to keep your CPU running fast and stable during Roblox sessions. Open the Throttle Stop folder from your FPS Boost Pack and launch throttlestop.exe. You'll see multiple performance profiles like performance, game, internet, and battery. Select Game Mode since it's best for Roblox. Then, check the box High Performance, which makes your CPU always run at full power. You'll also see some advanced options like Clock Mode and Speed Shift. Don't touch them unless you know what you're doing. Make sure to check Disable Turbo. This helps prevent overheating but keeps strong performance. After that, click Turn On, then Save, so your settings stay applied. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background when you play Roblox. This ensures your CPU stays at maximum speed and prevents lag spikes or FPS drops, especially during long gaming sessions. If you followed all these steps carefully, Roblox will now run smoother than ever, with higher FPS, lower ping, and faster loading times. You've now fully optimized your PC using both Fishstrap and Voidstrap, 
and after testing, Voidstrap clearly gives the best FPS and stability after the new Roblox patch.